Astrology Boutique with your energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 29th, we are going to have our last and final astro shift for the month, which is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's moving into her rulership in Libra energy. So first of all, let's just kind of rewind, okay? Venus has been in Virgo energy, and in Virgo energy, we are emotionally detached so that we can take a really good look at our lives without the emotions pushing us to certain things or away from certain things. The Virgo energy, of course, is analytical, highly critical, super judgmental so that we can discern what needs to stay, what needs to go. We needed to analyze in our physical realms, in our relationship dynamics, in our routines, in our money matters, what isn't working, what has been crazy, what has been chaotic. The Virgo energy analyzes, hones in on those problematic areas in order for us to come up with a plan, with a strategy to do better, to make improvements. So yes, we were kind of analyzing matters of the heart, especially with what makes us happy, what makes us feel safe and secure and stable, what brings us happiness and joy and pleasure, and what does not, and who does not. And from that information, of course, we had to kind of eliminate Again, probably more in the heart space than anything else. The physicality of it hasn't really been anchored in as of yet. We were looking at, again, reframing, restructuring, adjusting our heart space and our head space to get in alignment with, again, the elimination process that now needs to happen once we've identified what isn't working. So in Libra energy, we try to bring life back into balance. We try to take the information that we just kind of gathered while in the Virgo energy. We try to implement some changes in order to tip the scales back in our favor. Now, Venus is in her rulership in Libra energy. She is also in her rulership in Taurus energy. However, when Venus is in Taurus energy, the love, the improvement, the happiness, the joy, the safety, the security issues are within oneself. Again, analyzing our self-confidence, our self-esteem, where it is that we have to do better and improve taking care of thyself. In Libra and energy, we're more focused on relationships. And when I say relationships, please don't think automatically romance, okay? Yes, we love love in this Libra and energy. That's what Libra and energy is all about. We love love. We want everybody to be happy. That's great. However, we're talking about the relationships with every single person that we have interactions with in our physical realm. We're talking about the relationship with ourselves because that sets the tone for all the relationship dynamics that we have outside of ourselves. So with Venus now shifting into her rulership, the vibe is very much going to change. And considering the fact that Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, just went direct in the heart and soul of the zodiac in this Leo energy. Again, we've been in this reflection stage, this review stage, this analyzation stage for pretty much a month now. We have been reframing matters of the heart. We have been analyzing what we truly want, what we truly need, what we truly desire. Now with Venus moving into her rulership in this Libra and energy, again, we're going to make some changes, some adjustments in order to bring peace, harmony, acceptance, balance back into our lives. So the Libra energy, of course, is an air energy. It's a cardinal air energy at that, which means that we're about to initiate something new. We've done the reframing. We've done the analyzing. We know the areas of life that have gotten out of whack that need to be brought back into balance. The Libra energy being an air sign, again, we try to keep things light and fluffy. We try to keep things, you know, in the, let's call it, peachy keen, cool breeze type of vibe instead of allowing ourselves to go too deep in that emotional field. That will come later when Venus moves into Scorpio energy on the exact same day that, of course, Libra season kicks off and we are in the equinox energy. More about that with September's energy forecast. So with this Libra energy, we try to stay in the shallow end of our emotions. We try to kind of charm our way through situations, through circumstances to get what we want. 
We have no want, need, or desire to be aggressive. And obviously aggression comes from the opposite sign, which is Aries energy to this Libra energy. It's not so cute. It's not a good vibe. It's not a good look. We want to negotiate. We want to compromise, especially within the terms within ourselves in order to find a happy, go lucky, medium ground on making ourselves happy, making ourselves feel safe and secure. And of course, that overflows into what we now need from the people from the world around us. So of course, yes, we are very idealistic about love. We love love. We want everyone to be happy. We want fairness and justice for all. We, uh, typically speaking, are going to orient to the happy-go-lucky side of life, to the rainbows and butterflies side of life. Doesn't mean that we're going to necessarily stay in that vibe, but that's the natural disposition of this Libra energy. Yes, we're very relationship focused, again, stemming from the new relationship that we're building within this new version of self. If we are building ourselves up and kind of implementing boundaries within ourselves of what it is that we are or are not willing to tolerate any further, then of course, those boundaries now need to be implemented in the working relationships, the energy exchanges that we're having with other people. And so I'm not going to say that we're kind of like flighty, like aloof. However, the Libra energy does like to keep things light and fluffy. Um, we really don't have any want, need or desire to be pushy, to be aggressive. We're not going to tolerate that coming from other people towards us. We're taking a much softer, much more gentle approach. Now, here's the thing. There's pros, there's cons. The cons to this, the shadow, if you will, of Venus being in Libra energy it does include being overly dependent, too deeply connected, too intertwined, too superficial in our relationship dynamics. So of course, that doesn't sound fun. We have to consider the fact that the nodes of the moon being on this Aries and Libra and axis for the last year and a half has been teaching us where it is that we have to step away from codependent relationships, where it is that we have to detach from being too influenced, too intertwined with other people's lives, their wants, their needs, their desires. The whole point of this has been about getting to know thyself really leaning on ourselves instead of other people, trusting our own gut, our own higher self to guide us to where it is that we need to be. And so we're going to struggle with this. And as Venus kind of gets moving through this particular Libra energy, we are going to have some very powerful aspects pop off to further the relationship, deepen the relationship with ourselves, and hopefully deepen the relationship with the people that are still going to be with us through this next karmic chapter. I say hopefully because we're moving into eclipse season. There is going to be a great purge of people, places, and things out of our lives if we are not a karmic match for those particular people, places, and things moving on and moving forward. We'll still have to see about that again. September is going to be a very turbulent month. And so we just have to understand that we have a little bit of time, albeit not very much time, to stabilize, to bring these scales back into balance the best way that we know how in order to have a solid grounding point before we become kind of at the mercy of the cosmos of the universe once we start moving into that eclipse energy. Now, Libra energy, we love everything like artistic, we love everything beauty, we love everything aesthetic, we love love, we love beauty. Again, Venus being the goddess of love and beauty, worth, pleasure and money, she wants all of the nice things. Now, money matters could become a problem. Again, we tend to overspend in Libra energy, we tend to be indecisive in Libra energy as well. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth, back and forth in order for us to find the sweet spot that makes our heart and soul happy. We are definitely focused and promoting cooperation, negotiation, peace, harmony, balance, and acceptance. We have to come to terms with a lot of the situations that popped off as of late. And again, finding the emotional grounding point for us to realize that those situations had to happen to push us more into ourselves to really grow and build and anchor in this new version of self so that we can now follow our heart space into new lessons into new chapters 
So this is going to be a very interesting dynamic, especially as we move into September and have some major events pop off. But again, we are operating from our heart space. We are really taking a good look at what hasn't been working, what is still not working, where we can make improvements, where we can do better, where we can make ourselves feel happy, safe, and secure.